take everything away from me. My home, my vehicle, my network, all my financial resources, and tell me, Chad, you're left with just one tool, one single resource to climb back to your previous level of income. The email marketing techniques that I'm about to teach you are the tool that I would use to climb back to the top again. Now you may say, seriously, Chad? Isn't email dead with social media and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff? Well, I'm gonna tell you in the last five years, I've brought in over $9 million from the email techniques in this course. And by the time you're done watching this, you're gonna be able to do what I do. Now, I can't guarantee that you're gonna be able to make $9 million, but my goal is that you're gonna be able to go from total beginner to $10,000 using what I teach you right here in this free video course. Now let me just say that I've used a lot of different marketing techniques online in the last 20 years from Facebook to YouTube ads, search engine techniques, TikTok, you name it. All these things are constantly changing and shifting. Some of them are dying, some of them are new, new ideas are appearing. But the one thing that has changed very, very little is email marketing. And I'm doing the same email marketing techniques today and making money from them that I was 10 years ago. Now, what do I mean by email marketing? When I say email marketing, I'm talking about sending promotional email messages to a group of people. I'm not talking about spamming people and I'm not talking about like cold email outreach, like emailing one person here, one person there, one person here. I'm talking about sending messages to people that they have specifically requested selling them stuff and I'm talking about sending these messages to a lot of people, to a large, large group of people. Now to start, I'm assuming that you're a total beginner and you don't have a large group of people like this. You don't have like a list of email addresses that you could send promotional messages to because I'm not talking about email blasting your friends or anything like that. This needs to be a list of people that want to buy from you and want to hear from you. So the first step is to get a list of people that you can send these messages to. Now, just so you know, I've used this to build massive email lists, all using this simple concept that I'm about to show you. And the first thing that you need to do is to create what I call a lead magnet. And basically what a lead magnet is, is some kind of a free resource that you're gonna give to people in exchange for them giving you their email address. Let me give you some examples right here on my screen. You can see this one is a, um, a free ebook. This was for a chess product. So what I did here is I was asking them for their email address and in exchange, I was gonna give them a free ebook with chess strategies. Similar, here's a list I was building for home theater enthusiasts. And here's another one where my lead magnet was a free piece of software that could get you clients and make you money with clients. And here's another great example which you can actually see by clicking in the link in the description of this video, you can see this page that I'm showing on my screen right here. And this is a free training video where if you enter your name and email, you get a free training video in your email that teaches you how to make money using Google Maps. And you can actually enter your name and email in there to see how the whole thing works. But basically the lead magnet here is a free video training. Free video trainings work really well. I've done very, very well with those over the years. People love to exchange their email address for a free video training. Now I'm gonna show you how to build a page just like I'm showing right here. Even if you have zero web design experience, it's really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to build it in just a second. But one thing that's really, really important is that the lead magnet or the free thing that you're giving them has something to do with what you eventually want to sell them as you're sending them emails. Obviously, you wouldn't wanna ask for an email address of someone that's interested in chess and then send them emails about buying a home theater system. So your free lead magnet offer has to match the product or the service that you are eventually gonna be selling them through email. Now you might say, what am I going to sell them? Again. I wanted to set this up so this could work for a complete beginner even if you have nothing to sell. What I recommend is that you actually sell something that you are somewhat familiar with or even passionate about. So one thing that you could sell would just be consulting services. Let's say it's something that you know very well from your career, you've spent a long time in a certain job or a certain career. You could sell consulting services related to that career. It could even be a hobby or a side interest that you have that you've really developed some 
expertise in over the years. Think about something that you're passionate about. Maybe it's working out or maybe it's, I don't know, hunting or certain types of foods. Anything like that could be created into either consulting or even a product that you could sell to people over email. So anyway, in this case, the lead magnet would be a free video or even a free report or a free ebook giving them valuable advice about the topic that they are interested in. Similar to like this chess one that I'm showing right here. This would be for someone who's really interested in chess. And so the free lead magnet was an ebook on chess strategies. Now maybe you say, oh, I don't wanna sell consulting to them. Um, I'm not really interested in selling consulting or coaching or anything like that. You can actually create an entire product about anything that you're an expert in using free software. What I recommend that you do is actually create a, some type of a video training in anything that you're an expert about. You can actually download some free software called Monosnap that I'm showing on my screen right here. I use this software all the time to create instructional videos and even videos that I sell to people. It lets you show your face and it also shows your screen at the same time. And if you go to Google Drive, like I'm showing right here, and then click on Google Slides, click blank presentation, you can actually create like a mini PowerPoint and you display that PowerPoint presentation on your screen while you're talking through whatever the topic is. I've made entire video courses using this exact technique. And again, you can do all that with free software here. This Google Slides is free. Monosnap is 100% free to use, and you could have a whole product created 100% using free tools. And again, that's what I'm doing right here as well. When you enter your name and email here, not only are you gonna get the free lead magnet, but also in that email, you're gonna find out about a video course that I created about making money with Google Maps, and that's what I'm selling through the emails. And again, if you wanna get a good idea of how this can work, you can literally enter your name and email right there and see exactly how this whole thing, exactly how I've done it, and how I'm currently making money with this exact technique. Now, the fastest way to get started, which I have done many times, and this would be if you don't wanna make a product and you're not really sure what to sell and you don't really know if a certain market, like let's say you're like, oh, I wanna get into the chess market, sell chess training, but I don't really know if it's gonna work and I'm not really sure how to make a chess product. You can actually sell someone else's product, which takes zero time. Someone else has already made the whole product and you're just selling it for them. And the easiest way to do that is through clickbank.com. All you do is go to clickbank.com and create an account just like I'm showing right here. Click affiliates, start here. And you wanna just fill out this really quick survey. You just put your name and email in there, create a password, click complete my profile right here. You wanna fill out the um, all the details there. And then when you're all done, you want to go to their affiliate marketplace that I'm showing right here. And you can see all the different types of products that you could be selling through ClickBank. They have health and fitness, business, spirituality, garden stuff, cooking, green products, business. I mean, there's so many. And on the left, if you click here, look at all these categories. These all contain lists of products that you could sell. And basically ClickBank is gonna give you a special tracking link that is unique only to you. And every time someone clicks on that link and buys, you get a small percentage of that sale. So it's a great way to start making money with email marketing by selling ClickBank products through those emails. And again, you wanna pick a theme, you wanna pick a product that, I would pick one that you're somewhat familiar with or somewhat interested in because you're gonna have to write emails about it. If you use ClickBank, then you don't have to go and create an entire product and everything. So here's a great example just so I can show you. Here's one that is like a um, self-help kind of new age spirituality. And it says here $34 per conversion. So that means every time someone clicks through your link and buys, you'll make $34. And the nice thing is a lot of these, these sellers that are promoting their stuff through ClickBank, a lot of times they actually create resources for that you can actually use. So if you go here to this affiliate page, look at this, this is awesome. They've created emails. So they literally, these are literally emails that you can use right here if you click on the left. They've got a whole bunch of emails that you can literally copy and paste and send to people when they join your list. They have videos that you can use. They give you all kinds of resources that you can use to promote their product. And these resources can be awesome in your email messages. Some of them even include lead magnets, like free eBooks and downloadable samples and things like that that you could use to build your own list. As long as you're using them to sell their product, they let you use those lead magnets. 
So again, ClickBank is a great way to shortcut the whole process and to really get started really quickly. And I have whole videos just on using ClickBank, so I don't wanna to get too much in depth here. If you go to my YouTube channel and you just do a search for ClickBank, you can see how I've used ClickBank and I teach you specifically how to do it. But here we're more focused on email marketing, so I don't wanna to spend too much time on the ClickBank side of things. But my point is, you wanna pick a product category, like I showed you earlier, examples from mine, whether it's chess, whether it's home theater, whether it's marketing, whatever it is, then you wanna have a lead magnet, either create one yourself, or if you're using ClickBank, you can grab a lead magnet from the ClickBank site. And once your lead magnet is all set and ready to go, then you are done with step one of email marketing. Now, step two, of success with email marketing is gathering the email addresses. You're gonna need a service that can actually gather the email addresses and store them for you and send the emails out so you're not just having to use Gmail or Hotmail or something like that to email blast people because you'll get banned really quickly if you try to send you know, 1,000, 2,000 messages through Gmail. So there's services that are set up specifically to manage this and I'm gonna recommend MailChimp. It's not the only one, there's tons of good ones out there but the reason why I like MailChimp is, first of all, you can send up to 1,000 messages every month for free. So I really like that because you can get started for free. And second of all, MailChimp lets you create landing pages. So you remember how I showed you this page right here. You're going to have to create a page just like this. This is the page you're going to be sending people to to gather their email addresses so you can build a big list. And MailChimp, part of their service, they'll let you create a page that looks just like this. So let me show you real quick, because again, we're on step two, which is gathering the email addresses. So what you're gonna need in order to gather the email addresses is you're gonna need a page that people can enter their name and email on that will automatically start to collect all these email addresses. So let me show you how to get to the MailChimp page builder where you can very quickly build a page just like that. So all you do is you go to MailChimp.com, which you can just do a Google search for MailChimp, and you wanna click on sign up right there, and you wanna sign up for the free option. Again, that's gonna let you use a thousand, send a thousand messages a month. I'm gonna create a username and password, and then it's gonna send an activation link. You just go and check your Gmail and click on that activation link. They just wanna confirm that you're a real person. Click activate account, and then they're just gonna ask you for some basic information, so you can just put your name in there. I'm just gonna use my name. You can enter a business name. If you have a business name, you can enter whatever that business name is. It's not really that important. You can always skip it or do it later. You do need to put an address in. This is just part of the legal requirement of sending bulk email like we're gonna be sending. And I like to just skip all this stuff. It just takes extra time. We just skip, skip, skip. Again, I'm gonna skip. Again, you can just click next. Website URL, we're gonna skip. Now this is where the you're gonna pick the industry that you chose earlier when we were deciding what industry that you're in. And after you do that, then they're gonna set up your account like it's showing right here. And then what you wanna do is on the left, on the left under audience, then you wanna click on sign up forms. Then over here, you want to choose sign up landing page. And then this is basically gonna lead you through the process of creating a brand new landing page. So we're gonna click create a landing page. I need page name. I'm just gonna say page one. Select an audience, just leave that. Click accept. Now you can choose a lot of these different ones that are really fancy, whichever one you like. I actually have, if you look at this page that I've created, I like the very, very simple ones, and I've tested this a lot, believe it or not. The most simplest, almost seems like the ugliest pages get a lot more people to sign up. I'm not sure why, but we've tested this a lot. You can pick anything that you want here, but I like the grow your list one down here on the left. And you can see right here, this is literally almost like Microsoft Word. So you just go in here, you click you click on the little thing, and then it lets you put in, like, let's say you're doing, um, um, weight loss, feel a weight loss report, see how simple this is. Then under here, you just put like what they're gonna get when they sign up for your free report. And then you click save and close. And literally in like 15 minutes, you can set up one of these pages. And again, look at the one that I'm using in, in the link in the description of this video. I've made a ton of money off of this one and it's not very complicated. And so you don't have to get very fancy with it. You don't even have to spend a lot of time on it. Now, if you look here, this right here, after you click save and close, like I showed you, and you go right down here, this is literally the, 
This is the address of the page that we just created. And all you have to do is click publish and it will literally make that page live on the internet. I'll show you. See, very, very simple. And I found really simple pages like this do very, very well. Now, I like to also include the name in there, not just the email address. It's really up to you, but that lets me actually put, insert their name into the emails later when we get to that section of the training. So make sure that you save this little page name right here for later. Make sure you save it so that when you, when you start sending people to the page, you know where you're sending them. So you don't lose track of where that page actually is because it's kind of a complicated, big, long name. And we're going to show you how to send people to this page a little later in the training. But first we have to set up something else while we're inside the MailChimp account. So I'm assuming you're completing these steps as we're going along. I'm assuming number one, you've decided on a product and you've got a lead magnet that you've offered that you're ready to offer people. Second, I'm assuming that you created a landing page that is going to let you start to gather email addresses. Now we're on step three, which is setting up what we call a sequential autoresponder. I know it's a really fancy term. You might not have heard of it before, but I believe this is actually one of the most powerful tips to email marketing that a lot of people don't know about. I even talk to people that have big lists of thousands of people that don't utilize this technique that I'm about to show you. And in my mind, this step three is the key difference between making a lot of money with email marketing and not making any money at all with email marketing. That is the sequential autoresponder. Now, the easiest way for me to show you what this is, a sequential autoresponder, is for me to actually build one for you right here on screen. But let me just explain it to you. Basically, in a nutshell, what this means is you're gonna pre-program a bunch of email messages that are gonna go out automatically over time. So when someone goes, so I'll just use my page as an example, when someone goes to my page and they enter their name and email address in here, I have a series of messages that automatically go out. So you're gonna get a message on the first day that you enter your name and email, and then a couple days later, you'll get another message. But I don't have to actually type that message in a couple days later because it's automatically programmed to go out. Then on the next day, I'll send another message. And it's all sequential and it's set up to go out automatically. And this is a crucial, crucial step. And it's very, very simple to set up. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it inside MailChimp, but most of these email marketing services are very similar and they'll look very similar to this. And the way you do that is back to the MailChimp login, you're gonna go over here to automations. On the left, you click on that. And then right down here, I mean, right up here at the top, you click build from scratch. <clears throat> and the reason why this is so important is because when someone enters their name and email address into your little page that you created, only 90, only one or two percent of those people are going to be ready to buy anything from you a lot of them might just not be in a buying mood or they might not have any money available right then so that means 98 or 99 percent of the people that that get onto your email list by filling out that form are not going to be ready to buy something from you right away and that means you want to have an automated system set up that will continue to that will continue to sell them things over the next week weeks and months without you having to do anything. And the way you set it up is just like this. Here it says, create a map of your contacts journey. So we're just gonna call it new journey. You can call it whatever you want. You can always adjust this later. You click start building. Then we're gonna click choose a starting point. And what our starting point is, remember, because the way that this whole thing works is they're filling out their name and email address on your page that you just created. So what we're gonna do is use this one right here, signs up for email. So that's the first thing that your email subscriber is going to do. They're gonna sign up for email. We're gonna click save starting point. So you can see here, contact signs up to Arbor Group. And what that means means is a contact goes here, they fill out their email or their email and name and they click subscribe. And that means that they are at this point right here in their journey. Now, what we do then is we add a journey point. What we want it, the, the system to do immediately after they sign up, we want it to send them an email. So we're gonna click send email, okay? And I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna create the email yet. We can always go in later and actually create the email. And I'm gonna show you all about that later in this course. But for now, we're just setting up the sequence so that you can see how it works. So right away, they're gonna sign up for the, the list. They sign up to Arbor Group, that's my list. 
then it sends them an email okay now what we can do down here is we're going to add another journey point and then what we're going to do is we're going to build in a time delay and i recommend that you do this exact thing click time delay and we're going to say delay for one day so that means the system and then we're going to click save so in other words they sign up on my page right here okay and then it sends them an email immediately because that remember they're signing up for a free lead magnet some kind of free report or something like that so we want to send them what they asked for immediately and that way they get immediate satisfaction they immediately get the free thing that you promised them then we're going to wait one day and then what we're going to do is we're going to click add a journey point and we're going to send them another email okay and again i'm not going to create the emails right here just so you can see how it works and then the second email and i'm going to show you some examples of lit of journeys that i've personally used over the years to make a lot of money so you can kind of model yours after mine but this is just to give you the big picture so then, what are we gonna do? We're gonna click add a journey point, we're gonna add a time delay, we're gonna do another day, okay? We're gonna click save. So we're gonna wait one more day, and then we're gonna send them another email. Again, add a journey point, send email, and close. And you get the idea. So you can do as many of these journey points as you want to do, as many emails as you're willing to write. I literally have journey points like this set up for different lists that I have that go, some of them go for six months to a year of emails being sent out automatically. And the nice thing is you don't have to do anything or lift a finger to send those emails out once you have set up the system. And this allows you to sell whatever thing you're selling, it allows you to sell it to everyone, not just the people that are ready to buy right now right because those people probably buy right away after signing up onto your list but some of those people like I told you 98 or 99 percent of the people aren't ready to buy right now they might be ready in a week they might be ready in two weeks they might be ready in three days it allows you to sell to everyone because you'll constantly be on the top of their mind because they'll be receiving emails from you on a regular basis now again I'm not talking about spamming people you want to send them informational emails interesting emails as well as emails where you're selling stuff. And again, I'll show you how to do that in another section of this free course. And again, MailChimp is not special. Most email services like this have a system like this that you can set up and they all work very similar to this. So what I'd like to do is show you exactly some samples from my own lists. And what I wanna start with is the easiest one to show you because you can actually experience it for yourself if you want. And this is the list that you get on if you click on the link in the description of this video and fill out your name and email. Now this uses a little bit of a different system called Entreport, but it's very, very similar. So again, this is how this one works for, for mine. So you go to this page, you fill out your name and email, and you're wanting to get a free training video on how to make money with Google Maps. So then the first message that you get, and you get this message immediately, is <clears throat> this one right here. Hi, first name, okay? That's why I like to ask for the name because then I can put their name in the email. Free videos and tool download you asked for are below. But first, you wanna skip all this and just get on the phone with someone that can help you jumpstart your online business for you. So I go ahead and just sell the thing right away. So this is really important. You start your email with saying, hey, you asked for this free thing and the free thing that you asked for is below. But before I give you that link, do you wanna buy this thing? So you can use this exact template for your first email. You start with the first line. It says the free thing that you asked for is in this message, it's below. But before you look at those free links that I'm sending you, do you wanna skip all this and just buy blah, blah, blah for this such and such benefit? You can usually swipe my email right here if you enter your name and email on that thing, this email will be sent to you and you can copy and paste my text. I'll give you permission. In my case, I'm not selling anything. I just want the email subscriber to actually get on a call with one of my team members so we can talk to them about my paid training program. But for you, you'll probably be selling something or selling a ClickBank product or something like that. And you can actually have the purchase link right here where I have the call sign up link. So then I have here, we prepare for every call. Many people walk away from the first call with clear steps to start their own online business. So I'm still kind of pitching that. Um, getting one-on-one -on -one help is the fastest way to get started on this stuff. So you can spend a little bit of time, like I am, actually selling the thing that you're selling. But don't spend too much time because remember, what they actually asked for is a free thing. And so you want to make sure you give it to them quickly. Don't spend too much time in the email 
selling. You see how I'm only spending, you know, two or three sentences talking about something you could actually buy, and then I'm getting straight to the um, the free thing that they asked for. So here's how to set up an online business with Google Maps. This is what they signed up for. Remember, that's what the promise was here, free training, how to use Google Maps to get paid. And so that's what this is. You click here and it leads you, this is my lead magnet. It leads you straight to that lead magnet, which is the free training on making money with Google Maps. I also have some free software here that that is also included. It's a free thing you also get. And then down here, after that, then I pitch again, I pitch the call so they can sign up for a call to talk to my team. And I do that after. So you're sort of sandwiching the free thing, the lead magnet, you're sandwiching it with you, which selling something at the top and the bottom. And again, feel free to swipe this format. You can copy and paste it and modify it for whatever you're selling, whether it's a ClickBank product or consulting service or whatever it is. All right, that's the first message. Now, let me show you the second message that you get. So the second message is an interview <clears throat> with one of my students that made $18,000, got to $18,000 per month in under two years with this business model, this Google Maps thing that I'm selling. And that's all it is, is a free video interview with one of the students. And it's very instructional. He goes through his business in there. He talks about how he set it up. He talks about some common pitfalls and he talks about his story. It's super, super encouraging whether or not you buy the thing or not that's what this video is so you want to sort of give them keep giving people free stuff so that they keep opening your emails but you also want to continue to pitch them so this is the third email that you get after you sign up and in this one is just a straight pitch so the second email that you get is an in informative instructional interview that you can actually learn something from whether you buy anything or not you can watch the whole interview and learn a lot from my student the third one is just straight pitch I don't always share income screenshots, but I couldn't resist this. Marketers just like you sent me screenshots of their income that they got from my Google Maps techniques. And then I go ahead and show the screenshots of other students that have made money using my Google Maps training. And so that's the third email. So it is okay to sometimes just pitch them and just sell the thing that you're selling as long as you're interspersing it with useful content that they would actually want to read. Here's another email that you get in the sequence. Google Maps FAQ, new free video video for you first name. People are freaking out about this map stuff. Some po folks took my suggestions. They ranked in maps overnight, but I'm finding myself answering the same questions over and over, which is true. A lot of people email me the same questions over and over. So we made this question and answer video. And if you click on this, it's, again, it's just a free video about making money with Google Maps that answers a lot of the common questions that my email list people will reply and ask me. And again, I say here, or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one breakthrough call to get started with our program, just go to that link above, click the big green button under the video. So again, you can use this exact format. You give them like a free, you make a free video for your email subscribers. And here's the top 10 questions that I get via email, but then also down here, it lets them book a call. So if they don't want to get on a call or join my paid program, they can still get the benefit of getting answers to their questions in this free video. So they'll still get the content, whether or not they join and buy my paid thing, they can still get value out of it. So again, that's what you want to be doing. You want to be sending them email that continues to give them value, whether or not they buy from you, because that'll keep them opening the emails over a long period of time. And that lets you to keep selling things to them also also in between the value emails. And again, I'm not gonna, there's a lot of email messages in this sequence. I'm not gonna go through all of them right now, but you can actually join the list in the link in the description of this video and you can get all the emails so you can see exactly how I set it up. But let me show you another one. I gave you the example earlier of my chess list, and this is actually a very, very old email list that I've had for over 10 years. So it's built on a very old system, which you can see right here. Don't get distracted by that though. I mainly want to show you the sequence and how I set this up. And again, feel free to use any of my messages, the wording or anything or the formatting, if you want to copy and paste and modify it to your own use. Now for this one, obviously the topic is chess. And I showed you earlier that I had a landing page where I offered them a free chess 
a free chess ebook on chess strategies. And they enter their name and email address. It also says, what's your biggest question about chess? And click submit. And then it puts them on the list that I'm about to show you. So the first email that, that you get <clears throat> is this one right here, okay? And I'll just walk you through a dear first name. Here's part one of your nine part email course, opening and end game strategies. Feel free to unsubscribe at any time at the bottom of this message. So this is one is set up a little bit different. You can use this format as well. It works great. I made a ton of money off of this. And basically I'm giving them ahead of time, hey, I'm gonna send you nine emails. This is a nine part email course. So I'm gonna send you nine emails. That is an email course on chess openings and strategies strategies. I had a little, I had someone create videos for me so they can actually click there and see it in video format. And then just to set their expectations, I give them a whole table of contents of the nine video of the nine lessons that they're going to get via email over the next nine days. Now you can, you might look at this and say, man, that sounds like a lot of work. I don't want to set up nine free lessons. You don't have to do it this way. Obviously the email list that I showed you earlier, I don't have any, I only send them one free lead magnet was just a free video on how to make money with Google Maps. So that one, we didn't put as much money, as much effort into the lead magnet. This one, we put a ton of effort in and put nine lessons together that we send them. So it really depends on how much work you want to put into it. Both techniques work. And then down here, I talk about expectations and then right away, I give them the first lesson. And this is really important, okay? Because you want to give them the free thing right away. Just like I showed you in the other one about the make money with Google Maps product, you want to give it to them right away as soon as you can. Now, with this specific list, I did a little bit of a different strategy. I don't sell anything in this first email except down here in the bio. In the bio, I say I've been playing chess since I was a young boy, blah, blah, blah. And then he is responsible for bringing this exciting resource to the internet, the Grandmaster Strategy Strategy Video Training Library. So this is my thing that I'm actually selling. That's the only place where I actually sell it in this first email. But one thing that I do, so I give them their, this is the lead mag that I delivered it right here in the first email that gets sent to them automatically right away. But then also on day one, I immediately send them a straight pitch. You can see that right here. This is the subject line, chest training, pummel them with Mr. X. This is on day one, they get sent this email right away. Let's just see what this email looks like. I've had lots of questions regarding the chess rating of my author of my chess course. So chess rating is basically like every professional chess player has a certain rating, which basically is how powerful of a player are they? So I'm offering a paid course and a lot of the people were asking me, well, the guy who created this course, what's his chess rating? So this is an email basically about that, but this is basically a pitch because I'm basically saying the guy who created this course, his name is Mr. X. I don't want my competitors to find Find out who he is and pursue him. Call me selfish. He's my secret weapon. Find out more here. And if you go to this link, this is just where I pitch and sell the chess product. So this is immediately. So the first day they immediately get the free thing that I sent them. But then immediately on day one, I pitch them on my paid chess product. And I'm pitching them here. I interviewed and played dozens of grandmaster world champions, systematized their secrets. I'm shocked this guy is not more well known, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee if you're serious about improving your chess game, you want this man's instruction on your side of the chess board. So, and again, this is where you would be pitching whatever the thing is that you're selling. You can do it right away on day one. Believe me, if you deliver good value on your lead magnet, the free thing that you give them, if you give them a really good high value thing, then they'll open an email and they'll read your pitch. They're like, man, his free thing was really good. So I bet you his paid thing is also really good. So it's almost like giving them a free sample of the quality of the product that you're selling. We've sent them the free thing, then we've sent them a pitch. And then on day three, um, this says day two, but it's actually day three, the way it's set up. Email course part two, and again, this is just pure free content. Really important that you continually send them really useful stuff. And so right here, here is part two of your nine part email course, opening and end the game strategies. And there it is, it's all in text format. And then this is just all free. There's no, um, no pitch at all, except for at the very bottom. Again, I have my bio. 
and I pitch a little bit at the very, very bottom of the email after I give them the free thing. <clears throat> now, let's go to day three. So the formatting is a little bit weird when I show you this message is a very old system again, like I said, but basically all I put in this one is testimonials of the, tr of the paid training program. So day three is actually a straight pitch where I'm just putting testimonials. And the nice thing, if you're doing something like ClickBank, they'll usually include testimonials that you can just copy and paste straight into your emails. And then you can see, I'm not gonna go through every single one, but you can kind of see the structure of it here. Day four, I give them part three of the email course. Then here, people are raving about this. So day five, you can see a pattern. Every other email that I send is a pitch, and then every other email is giving them just the free value. So it's another great way to set up an email sequence where every other email, you give them high value, and then on the alternate day, you give them just a straight pitch. Now, let me just show you something. If I scroll down, here we have down here, email course part nine. So remember, I had promised them this was a nine part email course. So they're already expecting to get emails up to nine trainings. So you can see this is on day 16, because remember I've been alternating, every other one is a pitch, and then every other one is free content. Don't stop there. Look at this, day 17, I'm still sending out emails. Day 18, 19. This one I send out two emails in one day on day 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Again, for this one, I'm only sending it every other email is a high quality high content email they will open emails every single day and to this day it's true when I have I have email lists where I'll send out an email every single day and as long as the quality is high people will continue to open those emails every single day and you can see here this email sequence goes all the way down to 39 days so that's over a month of emails pre-programmed to go out and after they get the free thing then I'm gonna I'm pretty much just pitching them after that so from day 17 to day 39 I'm pretty much just pitching them now the pitches aren't obnoxious pitches some of them are they have a little bit of advice or like this one day 31 I just spontaneously give them four free books um, day 32 I actually have a one dollar trial that I set up so even though the chess course itself I mean costed like $47 or something like that I give them if they haven't purchased by day 32 then I'm like you know what I'm gonna give you a dollar trial so that means they pay me one dollar and they get full access to the whole thing and then if they don't cancel in seven days it automatically charges them the rest of the thing so like $46 or whatever but in that seven days they can look at it for only a dollar cancel if they don't like it so I figure if they haven't bought this thing by day 32, I'm gonna try a dollar trial. Anyway, you get the idea. And again, feel free to copy my exact format for your own list. Whatever it is, you can use a format just like this where every other one is a high content and then every other email is a pitch. Or you can do the one, you can use the format that I do. If you click in the link in the description of this video, you can use that format as well where I give a really high value free video training right up front, free software where everything in that first email and then after that is useful interviews but I'm not really alternating the pitches like that I'm doing it more randomly either one works great feel free to copy either one of these formats for your own lists and you wouldn't believe how many people purchase from me whether it's the Google Maps training that you can get in the link in the description of this video whether it's something like this like I'm showing right here this chess email sequence you wouldn't believe how many people purchase down here on day 20 28, 21, 31, 32, 35. I have people, they join my list and they purchase from me nine months later, 10 months later, 11 months later. Think about if I hadn't bothered to pre-program messages to go out for that long. Even if you just send out one email per week or even one per month, making sure that, they, that you stay in contact with them, making sure that they know that you're still out there, making sure that they know you're still selling what you're selling, you'd be amazed at people that aren't ready to buy on day one and then suddenly seven months later they get an email from you and it's all automatic and they purchase from you all that money would be left on the table if I hadn't bothered to create emails to go out that long now I will say that the magic sweet spot is in those first seven days you're gonna get most of your purchases either on day one between day 
one and day seven. So you wanna make sure that you do send some pretty good strong pitch emails in that first seven days because that's when the most people are gonna be opening your emails and reading them and the most people are gonna be buying. But then there is a large number of people that will purchase after day seven. So I'd encourage you, have it as your goal. I'm gonna set up seven days worth of messages and really buckle down and get those messages done. And then after that, just make it a goal to add one message per week or one message or two messages per week to your sequence over time, be continually making your sequence longer and longer and longer. And the more emails that you send them, the more money that you're gonna make from this email list. And before you know it, you're gonna have a massive email list. And whenever you need money, literally, this has been true for me for almost 20 years. Whenever I have needed some extra cash, like my, like way, way back in the day, I remember my hot water heater broke and I needed to buy a new hot water heater. And way back then we didn't have much money, but I had my email list. I literally sent out an email to my list, did a special promotion and made all the money that I needed in a couple of days to buy a new hot water heater. Your email list, as you're building it up, can become a very, very powerful asset that you can literally use to pull money out whenever you need extra cash. And then what I'll do is, if I create a promotion like that, a promotional email like that, I'll just add those emails that I did, that I created for that special promo, and I'll just add them to the end of the list so that there's an automatic promotion that goes out to everybody once they hit whatever once they hit day 43 they get these promotional emails like i showed you earlier with the one dollar trial very very powerful okay so let's review what we've been over so far one we set up our lead magnet two we set up a landing page so we can start gathering email addresses Three, we set up our sequential autoresponder, our automatic messages that are gonna go out. And now number four, again, is critical, critical to your success in email marketing, and that is learning how to write good subject lines. The subject line is like the advertisement for your email. It's the thing that's gonna make people decide whether to open up and read your email or not. And if you're selling things via email, you're not gonna sell anything if they don't open open your emails and there's a whole art form and a lot of tricks of the trade to getting people to actually open the emails and read them but the big picture of how to do this is you want to take what is inside of your email and you want to present it in a subject line that teases the reader into wanting to read the full email into wanting to find out more it's important that you tell the truth so you don't want to distort what's in that email they need to be 100 truthful but they do need to give it an interesting twist that gives the reader a teasing glimpse into what they're going to get on the inside of the email. And again, one of the best ways to see the kind of subject lines that I write is to click on the link in the description of this video and get on my list. Then you'll start to get the emails from me and you'll see how I tease the reader with the subject line to get them to want to open it. And you can see some good examples right here from this chess list, challenging self-test for chess talent. Anybody that's a chess player is like, oh man, a self-test? I wanna see how I do on this test. How about this one? My secretary and my baby. This one got a lot of people to open it and some people actually didn't like it. I had another one that was very similar to this that said, I got my secretary pregnant. And the funny thing is, once you open the email, I tell you that actually my wife is the secretary for my business and she got pregnant. There's a picture of her pregnant in there. And then I also do a special sale, like, hey, to celebrate this fact that my wife got pregnant, I'm doing a special sale. But you can see how I took a simple fact of my wife being pregnant and I gave it a unique twist to really make you wanna open that email and see what's the story inside there. Offering free stuff is always good. Four free chess books I have here. People are raving about this. And then here's another one from Watch Me Interrogate Bryce, how he got to 18K a month in another two years. I showed you that one. Here's another thing that gives you free, free video, Google Maps FAQ. This one gets a lot of opens here if you sign up in the email link in the description you'll get this email eventually these two gmap tricks equals full-time income and then in the email it actually tells you what the two tricks are that you can use to make a full-time income with google maps but you can see i'm kind of teasing you into wanting to open it and get those two tricks that you can only get by 
reading the email inside. Here's another one that you'll get if you sign up on my list and link in the description, you'll get this one eventually. Motorcycle Daredevil equals $1,800 per day on Google Maps. This is one of my students and in the email I have a picture of him on his motorcycle and then he talks about how he achieved $1,800 per day on Google Maps. So you can kind of get the idea of how this works, but let me show you the exact process that I go through to write subject lines. And basically what I do is I have books on my shelf here that have lists of headlines. This one's called The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan Kennedy. These books you can all get for like less than 10 bucks. This one, Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. This one, Tested Advertising Methods by John Caples. In these books, almost all of them have an entire chapter dedicated to headlines. And although we're not we're not writing headlines in the sense of like headlines for newspapers or headlines for direct mail advertising, it's almost the exact same process writing a headline as it is writing a subject line. Because that's what basically what subject lines are is like headlines for emails. And so what I'll do is I'll go through and imitate the most effective headlines that have ever been written. So what I'm showing on my screen right here is what I call the headline bank and I'll link to it in the description of this video. But basically these are the most effective headlines ever written. And so basically what I'll do is this is actually what I use to come up with my ideas for emails. Because for me if I can't write a good subject line for it then I probably don't even want to make an email about it. So I'll actually start my email writing process with writing the subject lines. So let's say I wanted to write an email about a special sale that I'm doing on a product. What I'll do is I'll go through these, a list of headlines very similar to what I'm showing on my screen right here, and I will rewrite every single one. So let's say we start with this one right here, secret of making people like you, eh, doesn't really apply. I'll go to the next one. Five familiar skin troubles, which do you want to overcome? Let's just say, I'm just gonna show you how I would do it right here. So for this one, I'll do five. Let's say this is for my chess list. Five familiar chess mistakes. Or we could say five familiar chess problems. Which do you want to overcome? Then I'll go to the next one. How I improved my memory in one evening. How I improved my chess game in one evening. And I'll literally go through and copy the most effective headlines and translate them into my niche or into my email that I want to write. The challenge to women who would never dream of serving margarine. That ah, doesn't really apply. Everywhere women are raving about this amazing new shampoo. You get the idea. Everywhere chess players are raving about this amazing new chess course. Okay. And what you'll find is as you're going through and rewriting these headlines, it'll start to spark your creativity and you'll start to come up with even more headlines and I've had times where when I wanted to write some emails I would sit down and try to write 50 subject lines or even a hundred subject lines I'll just do it with pen and paper I'll have these books right next to me or you can use a headline bank like I'm showing on my screen right here print it out I really encourage you to sit down and do it on pen and paper because it'll really help you to not get distracted on your computer and before you know it you'll have 20 30 50 a hundred subject lines that you can use and then out of those, obviously, not all of them are gonna be that great, but some of them are gonna be amazing. And if you write like 50 subject lines, I wouldn't be surprised if you get about a dozen really awesome emails out of that subject line session. And these subject lines that I've been showing you earlier from my chess list literally were written using that exact process of copying the most effective headlines historically that have ever been used in direct mail and translating them into subject lines. Same thing with the subject lines that I showed you earlier in these emails that you get if you sign up for the link in the in the description if you sign up for that list a lot of those email subject lines that you'll see from the emails that you get were literally written using this exact process of copying the headline bank and translating each one into a subject line anyway you get the idea I don't need to keep going on and on with this but <clears throat> literally what I would encourage you to do is make it a habit of sitting down for a set amount of time every week and just writing out subject lines those will give you the ideas for the emails that you want to write and make sure that 
that for every email, you have a good subject line. And sometimes you already have the idea for the email and you're just trying to come up with a subject line. I'll do the exact same process. I'll just go down a headline bank just like this. This one has a hundred in it. Again, you can link to it in the description and just look through until you find a subject line template that you could translate over into the email that you want to write. But what this helps you to do is it forces you to think about enticing your reader to click. It forces you to start to think about your email list. What do they want? What do they want to hear? What are they interested in? Why would they click on this email as opposed to all the other emails in their inbox? They might have 20, 30 emails. Some people have thousands of unread emails you're competing with in there. So you want to have your subject line really stand out, really grab their attention. And the best way to do it is just to imitate the proven winners that have already been shown to work in marketing history. So now we get to the final part of this course, and that is getting massive numbers of people to go to your landing page that you created. Remember this little page that we created way back when we were doing our MailChimp setup, getting massive numbers of people to go to this page so they can actually join your list and start getting these awesome emails that you're going to be sending them. Now there's two primary ways that I encourage beginners to use for this. One of them is free. It takes a little bit of time to build up to a high traffic level, but it is 100% free. The second one costs some money, but it's very, very quick. It's the quickest way that I know actually to build a very large email list. I'm going to start with the free one first. And the free one is actually what I am doing right here in this video that you are watching. I actually do both the free version and the paid version. Currently, I'm doing both to build my lists. But the free one, you're actually watching me do right now. One of the easiest ways to get a ton of traffic in any niche that you want is by using YouTube. And I've been using my own self as an example throughout this training video so you can see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm actually doing this to you right now. I have created a YouTube video on a topic that people are very interested in. Obviously, you're still watching me right now, and I've been going at this for many, many minutes. I'm even starting to lose my voice. And you're still watching because I'm giving you good content that you are interested in. But throughout this video, Video, if you notice, I have been encouraging you to click on the link in the description of this video and I've been encouraging you to join my list because, and I'm just gonna lay this out to you, I know a couple things about you. You're watching this video because it's about making money online using email marketing. So I know you wanna start an online business. I know you wanna make money online. And so you're a great person to actually join my email list in the link in the description of this video. So I'm giving you free content that I hope you're finding valuable. Actually, you're still watching this video at this point, so I think you are finding it valuable. Also, what I get out of this is that I get you to join my list. I just added a subscriber to my list. And YouTube is a great way to do this because people are going on YouTube looking for free content, free instruction, free ideas, free entertainment, and every niche in the world is on YouTube. And you can get started with very very little equipment and experience and still do great on YouTube and you can see an example right here of people that are doing this exact thing in the chess market you can see here as you're scrolling down look at this one right here one golden rule that will change your chess forever is the video and look what he's got in his description learn three main ways to improve your chess results significantly free masterclass chess-teacher.com forward slash masterclass what do you think that is that's exactly what I'm teaching he's doing exactly what I'm teaching you to do getting people on his list giving them a free lead magnet and them probably also pitching them a paid product on the target market of chess this video right here very very simple video just has a chess board here and him talking over here you could use it using that free software that I showed you earlier screen capture video shows his face <clears throat> 8,000 people have watched this video in the last five hours that's a lot of people. And again, I wouldn't even be creating this video if it didn't work because I already have done this a lot and I know that when I make a video with good content, people will click on the link in the description and they will join my list. Look at this one. Neuralink patient plays chess with his mind. He's got a whole video about Neuralink, which is like AI. 
AI and plugging your brain into a computer. And then what does he have in his description? Get my chess course, chessly.com. 35,000 views in the last three hours. And again, before you tell me, I don't know how to make videos. I don't even want to show my face. You can actually do a search for free screen capture software and you can make whole videos like I just showed you where all you're doing is actually showing your screen. I showed you earlier in this video. You can go on Google, Google Slides and create a free PowerPoint presentation that you show on your screen and you just talk the viewer through that presentation and that can be an amazing video. As long as the content is good, you don't even have to show your face. Now another tool that you might not know about is called in video which is actually an AI video creator and with this you can actually take any topic and type in a few text prompts and it'll create an entire video for you all using AI on a certain topic and I'm not gonna go through the process right now because this is not a video about creating videos it's a video about email marketing but I'm just telling you you could build a YouTube channel based on screen capture video like I showed you earlier screen capture with PowerPoint and with AI videos like this one. And as long as the content is interesting, people will watch it. Now obviously, in video to AI, these videos are created by a computer, so they do require some massaging. I would not recommend that you just go to in video and just create a video with it and not make any changes to it at all. It's probably gonna need a human touch if you want anyone to even watch that video. But I'm just trying to tell you, it's very easy to make videos these days. It doesn't require sophisticated equipment now if you don't mind showing your face and you don't mind talking on video you can actually just use your own phone to make videos some of the biggest videos that have blown up over the years and gone viral on YouTube were just created by somebody recording themselves with their phone camera so if you don't mind showing your face go ahead and create videos with your phone camera the important thing is to be consistent that's one thing I've learned about YouTube and my channel is not even very big I've made a lot of money off my channel Channel, and it's a relatively small channel and I'm only just a brand new at YouTube one thing that I learned is just get started if you go on my YouTube channel and you look at the first videos that I made on this channel you'll see they're not very good the video quality is not really very good the camera is not even focused but my point is that from the very beginning I was getting email subscribers I was getting people buying people were clicking on my link and joining my list even when I was creating bad videos so the important thing is just to get started be consistent get yourself on a schedule try to do a video a week or two videos a week or when I first got started I was trying to do a video every single day which ended up being a little bit much but I ended up building up my channel fairly quickly just by being consistent and encouraging people like I've been doing throughout this video encouraging people to click on the link in the description and to join your email list now the second way to get a lot of people to join your list is by buying Google Ads so we actually pay for ads on Google and we're doing the exact same thing we're offering a free video our ad says you can get a free video on how to make money with Google Maps just click the link and where does that link go it goes directly to a page that looks something like this and they join my email email list and then they buy from me. <clears throat> now, you might say, I don't have any money for Google Ads. Here's the trick. Let me show you exactly how you can do it if you don't have money for Google Ads. Let's say you're gonna get a bunch of traffic that you are buying. So that's what I have here, T for traffic. And obviously that traffic is going to your opt-in page or your free lead magnet page. Like you see right here, they enter their name and their email as an N and E stands for. And they're entering into your autoresponder sequence. That's what AR stands for, where they're getting messages from you on a daily or every other day or whatever basis you're giving them free content. You're also pitching the product for them to buy. Now, here's the key though. My goal when I am buying ads from Google, I'm buying traffic from Google, and I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google Ads account in just a second so you can do this, but my goal isn't to make a profit on the, right away on the front end. My goal is that as long as the money that I spend on the ads is equal to or greater than my ad spend, then I'm doing good. Even if I just 
break even, I am happy. So let's say that I spend $100. Let's say I get 50 people to join my list and some of those 50 people purchase from me right away. And let's say I only make $100 on that first day. So on the first day I spent $100 and they got the first email from me of my sequence and people bought and I only got $100 back. I made zero money on that day. I'm happy if I make zero money on that day. Do you wanna know why? Because I have a very long autoresponder sequence and I'm gonna be continuing to send emails to those people for weeks and weeks and weeks selling things to them. So if I can get them to join my list for free, I know that as long as I have emails set up going into the future selling them things, everything they buy from that point on is pure profit. Does that make sense? So again, that's why I have here, I want the money that I make on day one to be equal to or greater than, but it doesn't even have to be greater than, the amount that I'm spending on ads. So then essentially, even if you don't have any money for ads, you might be broke and you say, man, I don't have any money to spend on Google Ads. As long as on that first day, you can break even, you're building your list for free. Folks, I have done this over and over and over. I've built huge lists. I've sold in a lot of different markets using this exact principle as long as I can get someone to join my list for free in other words I make zero dollars but I got an email subscriber then I get to email them for free for weeks and weeks and weeks and all that money is going to be made in the future but I essentially didn't pay anything for them to join hopefully that makes sense so here's how you create Google Ads account to get some email subscribers you're going to basically go to Google Ads you're going to click sign in whatever email whatever Gmail you have already it's fine just sign in under that gmail enter your business name it really doesn't matter you can say they even say optional and i'm just putting my own website in but this is actually where you will put your landing page that i showed you how to create earlier that's where you're going to put the address in right there that's going to ask you some things i just click next choose a goal you want to put submit lead form i mean you could also put purchases either one is fine um, but you probably want to do submit lead form um, i'll just do purchases for now but it's fine you want to do submit lead form though it's not really life or death which one you pick there <clears throat> define who should see your ads we're gonna do all countries if your niche is country specific obviously you only want to show ads to the people in that country under the search themes part that, I, that you see right there that's where you would put in the subject of your email list so you want to be advertising to people that are interested in whatever your niche is and then you go ahead and write your ad I would encourage you to spend some time with the headline bank when you're writing your ads, but this is just an example of a lead magnet type ad. We got a free video course, learn how to blah. And then the second line has a benefit. It gives you X, Y, Z. So I like to say free and I'll put free in this. Make sure you put free in the headline because you're doing a lead magnet. They're getting something for free. And then you put whatever the benefit is of the free thing that you're offering them. Hopefully your lead magnet is actually valuable and you have a benefit to it. And then you can kind of see what that ad's gonna look like on the right once you enter it in. Now, Google's gonna let you add images. I would test this out. Sometimes images help, sometimes they don't. It does help you to kind of stick out among all the other ads if you have an image. You can do a search right here for different types of images in your niche. You can actually add an image to your ad. If you add logo, you can add that. You can also skip it. This kind of stuff is not quite as essential, but you can kind of see what it looks like if you add an image, how it kind of helps you stick out. Now, for your bid strategy, strategy you want it to be set for conversions and because Google can actually track your conversions and then you just put in your daily budget whatever amount you think you could spend you put that in and there you go now you do have to watch it very closely because again let's say you're selling a Clickbank product through the emails you want to be watching very closely that you're making at least the same amount as your ad spend on day one but as long as the amount that you're getting from those people that they're gonna join your list and then like I showed you earlier in that first First email you're gonna give them the free thing but you're also gonna pitch them to buy something and as long as enough people buy on that first day to pay for the ads then you could literally do that indefinitely and you can build a list very very quickly that way and basically those sales are paying for your list to be built and you there's no money actually coming out of your pocket but either way that you choose to do it whether it's the free way 
or the paid way. I do both. I'm practicing both of these things right now, even as you're watching this video, I do both. And once you have this machine running, you can literally let it just run indefinitely. And you're gonna be amazed at how well this works for you. <clears throat> and once you build an email list, you're gonna have an asset that will pay you for many, many years to come. And now I told you about this earlier, but the nice thing is once you have all those people on an email list, you can run promotions to them. So you'll have your automatic emails going down that they're getting on a regular basis that you've pre-programmed in, but then you can send out broadcasts to the list whenever you need to. And I've done product launches where I've used the same list, not even very large lists. I've used the same list over and over and over to launch different products, to sell different things to the list. And you'd be amazed at how the people on that list, if you treat them well and you email them valuable content that they will continually buy from you. They'll continually open your emails. They'll continually buy from you. In fact, I even had someone just today that I was looking looking up who was a customer of mine who spent over $10,000, bought something from me for over $10,000. And when I looked them up, they had joined my email list in 2013. Now that is crazy. They've been on my list for so long and they've bought so many things from me and they're still buying products from me. And this works whether you're in like the make money online niche, whether you're in like a chess niche, a hobby niche, guitars, whatever it is, even a niche that's just related to your day job, some information about your day job that really only you know. You'd be amazed at how long they'll open your emails and how long they'll buy from you and how long that relationship can last. So I hope that was clear. If you have any questions about any of the material, that I have presented here. Please go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try to stay up on the comments and answer people's questions as best as I can. And also, again, I wanna practice what I preach, right? I wanna encourage you to click the link in the description of this video and actually join my email list as well. And obviously you know, I've laid open my whole strategy to you. So if you join that list, I am going to sell you something, but I'm also gonna give you a lot of free valuable content as well, just like I taught you how to do in this video. And if you click on the link in the description of this video, I do have a free class that teaches you how to make money with Google Maps. It's a totally different strategy than what I'm teaching in this video here, but basically what it teaches you how to do is how to set up an autopilot business on Google Maps. It does take a little bit of work to get it set up initially, but once you get it set up, it pays you from Google Maps for years and years to come. It's a very simple business. I would say it might be simpler than what I've taught you to do here in this email course. It's a fairly simple business. My own daughter set up one with the exact same business model, Google Maps business model, when she was only 12 or 13 years old and it's been paying her, now she's 18, it's been paying her all these years on autopilot. She does very, very little ongoing work to keep that business going, and it all brings in money from Google Maps. So I really owe it to yourself to click on the link in the description to get that free class and to join my list, and you can also feel free to join my list just to learn from how I do email marketing, because you'll be getting emails from me on a regular basis if you join that list. Talk to you soon.